Hey other YouTubers, thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today we had another question uh, from Amy here. And uh, I, for some reason I am not able to reply because YouTube is weird like that. It has some weird quirks in it. It said I wasn't um, unable to reply and it took away my reply button. Anyway, she said, uh, how, do, how do you create a Dropbox shared folder? So it's really easy and I'll show you guys. Um, if you have a Dropbox account, it's free. Click on my description in this video link to sign up if you haven't already. If you already have one installed, it's you can see this little folder right here. To get to your Dropbox, you can double click on that. Or you might know where the actual folder is, maybe on your desktop or something. It's just a folder that you put files in. But anyway, what she's asking is to create a shared folder is basically um, uh, something that you share with other people. And whenever they accept that folder, um, every time they, uh, every time you update, or click save on a file that's in that folder or save a new file to that folder um, Dropbox will automatically sync that to your folder that they have shared with you and you will automatically receive those new files as they come in or the new updates to the files uh, kinda like what I do when I share all my shared workbooks folder with you guys if you have a Dropbox account you can actually uh, uh, you can actually have it to where uh, every time I put a new workbook in there, you automatically, let's say when you come home from work, you will automatically be synced up and have all the new workbooks that I shared in my folder. It'll automatically come to your computer somewhere, uh, whether it's Mac or PC or Linux or anything. Um, whatever Dropbox supports, you will automatically have any new files that I have shared to my personal folder that I've shared with the public. So it's pretty cool. They just automatically will sync up instantly to your computer and you'll download the workbooks and just have them. Um, so anyway, here's how to do it. It's very simple. I'm going to double click on my Dropbox link down here in the corner, which opens up my personal Dropbox folder. And uh, I'm going to let's just make a new folder that I will pretend I'm going to be sharing with everybody so I'll right click WF for a new and then folder respectively so I'm going to type in my shares my shares it's my shared folder okay so what you do when you're in your Dropbox special folder you can right click on whatever folder that you'd like to use in this case I'd like to share this one you go up to um, share this folder uh, you can also do the share Dropbox link I believe there is a distinction between sharing the actual folder um, so yeah um, I would go to share Dropbox link and uh, I think the share this folder let me click on that I think that might actually be just a regular network thing but let me find it if that is a, is still a Dropbox thing so yeah looks like that is a Dropbox thing. I think a sh I looked it up a long time ago. A share link is where you can just um, give people the location of some files but when you actually share the entire folder it will um, enable you to to have that automatic download thing. So this is a bigger deal than just giving a share link to where they can browse your files and you know download and pick and choose. This is where you actually share sharing it with people. So do I would Google that or go to Dropbox.com slash support and find out what the difference is. But I know that I the one that, the whichever method I use to share to the public, whether it's a link or sharing a folder, is the secure one to where you you know everybody can't just go and delete my files, but they can receive a copy of the files in their computer. So that's the secure way to do it. Anyway, you can invite members, you can type their email addresses here, send a message and tell them you want to share this folder with them using that method. And so uh, that's pretty much it, uh, Amy. I hope that answered everybody's question about that. And then uh, if you cl if you right click on the folder and go to share Dropbox link, uh, basically just copies the link to your clipboard so that if I were to paste it, um, see it says right here this has been copied to your clipboard and that's just more of a they can browse and pick and choose a, a file here or there 
but not really get that file folder and all this contents like synced up to their computer. That's more of a shared thing. So I think that's what you're asking. I hope that answers your question. Thanks for watching and God bless guys. Thank you.